rolling right along through level two, we are going to interpret, which just means kind of like reading and understanding, um, and solve tables in this next part. So you might remember this uh, ex example using Emma's Starbucks Perfect Punch recipe from level one. It's completed for you already because we already did the, the equivalent ratio part in level one. This is now going to be asking questions from this table, which we did before, but we're going to just take it one little step further. That's why it's in level two this time. So we're still going to follow that same strategy. It says if she has 12, I'm sorry, if she has 25 cups of strawberry, how many cups of perfect punch can she make? So this time it's not just about finding what's on the table and then just like looking at the next uh, row. We have to do just a little bit more math on this one. So perfect punch is when you combine the strawberry and water together, right? Like that's what the whole recipe is. So we know that we have 25 cups of strawberry. So I'm still going to find that on the um, table, which would be right here. And then we want to know how many cups of perfect punch can we make. So that's when we take the strawberry and the w cups of water and put them together. So we're going to do 25 plus 30. And then that answer is how much perfect punch we can make. So we're going to do 25 plus 30 to get 55. So it'd be 55 cups of perfect punch. So very similar to what we did. But do you see how it was one little step more? That's what we're doing this time. So that's where that interpreting part comes in instead of just simply reading it. So let's try question B. It says, if she has 66 cups of perfect punch, how many cups of strawberry and water does she need to use? Well, you might notice if you look at our table, there is no 66 on there anywhere. Well, that's because it's 66 cups of perfect punch, not strawberry or water. So what we need to do is figure out which column adds up to 66 cups because then we can break it down and figure out well how much of that is strawberry and how much of that is water right it's kind of the opposite of what we just did on this one so we want to look and see so 66 cups so look at which column is going to add up to 66 so if i look right here if i do 30 plus 36 that's going to give me 66 okay so this is the column i want so now i just need to say that it's going to be 30 cups of strawberries and 36 cups of water. That's it. Those are the two pieces we need. So that would be our answer for this. Okay. Just one little step more than what we did in level one. All right. Here is one more way we're going to do um, this section. We are, that was our interpreting. This is our solving. So now we are going to have a word problem here that's going to help us complete this table. So we have two gallons of gasoline cost $8, okay? And we need to use that to complete the table. So if you look, the top row represents gas, or the gallons of gas, that's what the little g means, versus the cost. So cost is on bottom, gallons is up here. Well, if I look, I don't see two gallons anywhere on this top row. They only give us this five. So then I need to look at the cost, which is $8, and they do give us that right here. So that's going to help me fill in this missing piece because I already know that two gallons is eight dollars so I'm going to just fill in my two right there because that's given to me in the word problem so now that I know those two now I can use that to help complete the rest of my table kind of like what we did um, in previous sections so we're looking at two and trying to figure out how do I get from two to eight because whatever I did to the gallons to get to the cost is what I'm going to do each time in this table okay it's a little different than this last one we're not going to look across we're going to look up and down for this one, okay? We can do either one, and in this case, up and down is going to be our best bet. So I already have this two from the word problem, so I noticed from to get from two to uh, eight, we're doing times four. So that means for all of these, we have to take whatever the gallons are times four. Well, you might notice that we don't know the gallons for this one. So we have to think, what times four will get us four? Well, think, what times four gives you four? That would just be one. Okay. You can also think of it as four divided by four, right? Like if we went the other way, I could think of it as eight divided by four gives me two, but either way is how you can think of it. Okay. So let's do this next one. So we're thinking what times four gets you 12. So what times four gives us 12? That would be three. Okay. Now, if you notice, we skip, we don't go to four, we go to five next. So this one, they do give us the gallon. So all we need to say is five times four gives us what? And we say 20. Okay, so that was how we solved our table using a real world problem. So you have another one to try on your own um, that has a similar situation, table to complete, and get a teacher signature before moving on. You can do it.